travel with the dogs, we pack them their own beds. Tomorrow we're taking them to the beach for the weekend, so I thought this would be a great opportunity to show you what's in their bed. So here it is, we're taking Bruce and Naya. So that means one husky and one very big Spanish cat. So let's see what they are taking. First of all, most importantly, we have dog bowls. Food and drinks, and even more important, their food. The food is in the cooling box, it's already ready to go in the car. Since we give fresh food, it's fresh meat, it needs to be uh, in the cooling box so it stays fresh. Then we have these little things in which we put water. It's really handy because we can just hang it on the harness or on the leash. You just put it like this, you press on it and the water goes in the little thing. And even our really big dogs can drink from it. Then we always take a little tree, uh, toy for them to play with. Uh, although we mostly end up buying new toys as well. But this way they have something to play together. Also very important, the bag of treats. Then we bag always quite a lot of leashes because we have leashes for different occasions and all these things. So we have the flexies, they are for on the beach. Um, at the beach here in Belgium where we stay, uh, the dogs can always run free on the beach but with Naya we don't like to take that risk because she can be a bit of a bitch to other dogs. And since Bruce is really big, um, people might get scared easily. Also, it's not fair if he can run free and I can, so we just let them run on the flex. Then this harness, it's a harness from Dogs Creek, which I think is a really good brand. Um, it's Naya's outdoor harness. We actually attach the leash um, when she's really like on the flexi, we attach it on the back. But when we want her to walk a bit closer, we attach it on the front and on the back. So we have really like the double safety um, because she tends to pull when she sees like a small dog, especially those little small white dogs, multi poos and all that, uh, those kind of dogs. So here's our tag, head bitch in charge, head bitch in charge and our address and phone number. Then this is Naya's art door leash. It's a, a paracord leash made by Alesa. It's a girl close by who makes these leashes herself. Then we have do uh, Duvels, sorry, Rusas, always confused with all of our dog's names. Uh, Rusas harness, he has green, it's his color. Uh, it, it matches his color as well which is gold with green, but that one he's always wearing, so we don't have to pack it. And then his leash that goes with it. Then for Naya, we actually have two different outfits. She's a girl, so she can take multiple outfits. So this is Naya's city leash. The pastel colors, I really love those, so she matches me, with me quite a lot. And this is her pretty outdoor harness and then this insanely beautiful color with a Lima stone. Lima is a calming stone so at least I choose to believe or I really think it calms her down but who knows maybe it's a coincidence I don't know but I just really love this. Then since we're going to the sea we have these cute little bandanas the pink one with the fishes for Naya and then we have the blue one for Bruce. And it's also gonna be a bit cold this weekend, nothing but rain. Um, for Naya, that's fine, she sees a husky, she's a snow dog. But for Bruce, we have this giant fluorescent jacket. Really hard to find a jacket for such big dogs. It's pleased in the inside, all the dog hairs flying off now. So that was it. That's all we packed for the dogs. Um, I think it also changes a bit depending where we go. I always love to have some bandanas or cute stuff to put on them. If we do a longer trip, I take more things, but we always end up buying all kinds of stuff on our location. So that was it. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'd love to know what you put in your dog's bag or in your own. Feel free to share. Please like this video if you liked it and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Bye.